So thanks everybody for joining us. Hi, I'm Shannon. I'm with uh, Exact Contact, um, one of real estate, one of HomeSmart Realty's um, preferred partners, CRM. So what we wanted to talk to you about today is CRM and why it's so important to your business. And we have with us one of your fellow HomeSmart agents, Mari Takashita. Um, okay. She's been so kind to join us and tell us her story and relationship with CRM. Um, and I, Mari, I, I'm going to turn it over to you fairly quickly here. I'm just going to set it up with why we're talking about CRM and then you can bring it back to the actual business because I can speak to it from one level and then Mari's going to kind of sort of lend her actual day-to-day -day practice. Um, and I, I love some of the stories um, that you have to tell. And funny enough, Mari, there's a lovely lady up in Denver that you are, I think, just starting to mentor. And I was speaking with her and her assistant, Jessica and Leslie, um, this week about you. <laughs> because <laughs> because uh, we reached out to them because they had reached out to us, not knowing that, uh, that you were sort of in that loop. So, so much appreciated, uh, as always, of course, for the, uh, the referrals. So why are we talking about CRM? Let's start with what is a CRM? Um, it's your customer relationship management system. Um, I've often heard agents take that abbreviation and turn it into something like continually reminding me. And Mari, I'm sure that's, you know, <laughs> something that, that you can agree that yeah. your CRM should continually remind you. And your system's only as good as what you put into it. But at the same time, it should be then having that output where you do have those automated reminders. You do have the ability to sort of step away from the actual system and put those processes in place and, and let it do its thing. So traditionally, CRM helps you stay in touch, stay top of mind, stay, keep yourself organized. And a real estate CRM is meant to be specific to the needs of real estate agents. So again, bottom line here is your CRM helps you build a referrals-based business because it's just helping you keep in touch with everyone in your network and in your sphere. And Mari, how many people did you say you have in your list that there aren't just people in your list. People, there are people that you have met that, that you could say, yeah, I personally know something about that person. Well, I, I have about 3,000 people, but what I've done in the last few years, because I've been in the business for almost 30 years, I'm 65 and I'm going to be retiring. And so because of that, I wanted to bring it down to a smaller amount. So I've actually now, this past year, I've whittled it down to somewhere around maybe 450 people. And that's all I'm keeping in touch with now. And I'll talk more about that because I'm not the one that really keeps in touch with these folks. Right. You have some help, yes. but <laughs> we'll get to that in a moment. So again, like what makes it a real estate CRM is that there are key elements, things like active business management, drip email campaigns that are done for you that have communication designed for buyers and for sellers. Um, and you can, of course, you know, specifically an exact contact, you can customize it, make it your own voice. Um, there's a library of, of real estate specific content that you can draw on. So you're never staring at a blank screen. If you're not a writer, you don't have to be. There's, there's lots of templates. You can use them as is or use them as a starting point. Um, and the exact contact serum also includes a monthly email newsletter. So again, you've just got all these touch points that are being set up and automated to help you stay top of mind. And your mobile friendly agent websites included in there. We're not gonna talk so much about website today, really gonna to focus on CRM and, and the keep in touch piece of, of your business. Um, there's an, a study done by Active Rain that I love to touch on. And it was the rich agent, poor agent study. You can look it up. Um, and it has like great little graphics with it, but essentially the study asked real estate agents various different things. You know, what do you make each year? What's your average commission per transaction? Uh, what kind of car do you drive? How many listings do you do, et cetera, right? What are the key tools you use in your business? And one of those key tools was found to be a real estate CRM and more so on the rich agent side of the scale. And it was rich agent, poor agent. There was a sort of a salary divide um, in an earnings divide in that study. And things like email marketing, sort of tied directly into that, all of these were key tools that these higher performing agents were shown to be using. And, and they, we asked the, they asked the agents directly. So, you know, they're, they're coming right from the, uh, the horse's mouth and being able to say, yeah, we use that. And, and that's what keeps my business running. So more successful agents are just twice as likely 
to be using a real estate CRM. And so what is exact contact and how will it help your business? It is a real estate CRM. It has all the things I just described with content library, automated emails, monthly email newsletter, some of those key touch points that are automated that make your life easier, but also keep you top of mind so that people aren't falling through the cracks. You're always maintaining your relationships and your communication. And you end up with a database like Mari, you said 3000 people that at some point in history you've connected with. And I know you've you sort of pared it down to the, the 450, you know, sort of most relevant or, or key people at this point, but still even 450 people, if you're communicating with them regularly, imagine the kind of business that that can drive. So I'm actually gonna flip it over to you, Mari, and let you talk a little bit more about how you're using CRM. And I think you said you had started with other CRM and eventually got to exact contact and have kind of flip-flopped back and forth. And I know you do a lot of other things in addition to CRM right. with, so, with keeping your, your business really strong. So when I first started in the business, um, I used Top Producer and it was Top Producer um, software. And I held that for as long as I possibly could to the point where it just got to, you couldn't use it anymore. The windows was going much higher and I couldn't use it. So at that point- they weren't point, mailing out the CDs or the floppy disks oh, anymore? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but anyway, so because of that, I now had to figure, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> so I will tell you that I spent, um, actually I spent my, myself and another person, we spent probably two to three weeks. And this is where Mary would have been ideal. Cause I know Mary had just, she was another gal who was supposed to be here. And yeah. she actually went through this process just now. Whereas I went through it probably, I, I can't remember, is it, have I been with exact for like five or six years or seven something years? Like something that, like that, yeah. So anyway. One of, so, one of the originals. Yeah, so anyway, so <laughs> she um, she had actually gone through this process and though I didn't get a, an opportunity to chat with her about that, I've done it, so I know. And there's ones that are much more expensive and they have more bells and whistles. But the problem is because I was with Top Producer, I was going to actually move to Top Producer online. It costs about $125 a month, which is fine. I could afford it. But if you're just starting, it seems a little like $12,000 or $1,200 a year. But what I did was in looking at everything, what I found was Top Producer, and I spent probably six months on a friend's and so I was his assistant playing on it and I couldn't stand it. It was convoluted. You'd have to go from place to place to place. And if you're trying to train someone to use it, unless they were just young and knew everything about all the digital stuff that's out there in the market, not like me at 65, and I'm going, oh my gosh, I can't take this. So anyway, so that went out the door. But I wanted to do all the same things that, that top producer could do, but that was manageable for me as I grew older and was going to be retiring and also for the people that I bring in as my staff. And I found that this was the best. Now, when you do, I will say one thing, when you do pull your people from whatever you're using now, whether it's another CRM system or Excel or in a shoe box or whatever it is, as you start to process through, call exact. These people are so friendly. They're really sweet. They will take, I mean, they talk to me and I'm going, oh my God, I'm freaking out. As I was putting stuff into the system, they helped me do a lot of that. I had an assistant who was doing that because at that point we weren't putting in one person at a time. We're trying to put in 3000 people. So it does take a little bit of management, but I was just, um, I'm mentoring someone and I just told her just do 10 a day, that's all. And if you do 10 a day and also talk to them each one of those people, as you go along, you'll get everything you want because you want their, of course, their names, their address, and their birthdays, anniversary dates, if you want to do that, the children's names, whatever else, so that you've got a lot of information and excuses to give these people a call. So with that, I am, I'm so happy I went with Exact. Now, I also at one time had several of their assistants, and with that, what I was able to do is connect other assistants where they could get into the system and use top for the, I mean, I'm sorry, use exact, I'm so sorry, Shannon, but anyway, use, use exact, but not have to be in my space of that. I had my own and they had theirs. And we you had a team had our own. set up. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. So that way they weren't infringing on my, 
my people that I had to call or I wasn't seeing all of theirs going, where's all my phone calls that I'm supposed to be making? And so I, I thought that that was really a, a great add on to what you guys have. So yeah. where, where do we go from? What information would you like? Yeah, and so I'll just, I'll, I'll flip back to my slide here. I, I popped it up while you were talking because I think it, it lends itself well. Um, just in terms of, of getting started and that's often the most daunting task. I love that that's where you started. And well, like you I said- guess, I, I guess the biggest thing I want to say is this because I don't know if the people that are watching right now are already on exact or they're thinking about it or whatever. And I'm going to say- Some combination, yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So no matter what, you have got to have a CRM and it's got to be robust. If it isn't, what's going to happen is somewhere along the way, you will have to make a change. So if you find one that's only like, some people are using Excel, I'm going, really? I mean, Excel was like decades ago. Or me, when I first got into sales, it was a shoebox. So anyway, so from that, you've got to use something that's robust, that's going to keep going with you and keeps technology in the front of what they do. And that's what Exact does. So if you're thinking about it, unless you're gonna go with something that is so much bigger than what you need, that's like ridiculous, like I was gonna do, this is great. It does everything. It, it will track my contracts for me, even though we have that at home smart. But if you wanna do it, everything off of this, you can. So just make sure, no matter what, if you're hemming and hawing, should I spend the money or not? Just do it. Because if you don't, you can't get into a position where decades later or even years later, where you're going to be in a position where you've got so many phone calls coming in. My goal is to get five phone calls a week of new either referrals or past clients. In the last two days, I think I've gotten seven or eight or nine referrals. And I'm Impressive. going, it's a little much. <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying, trying to be retired here. Retired, <laughs> But other than that, and if you can't boast that later on in your business, it's because of what you did today or more specifically what you did not do today. And that's really important. This is the most critical thing. If you think it's not, then you personally call me and I will come over to you and talk you into it because that's how important it is. <laughs> Okay. Mari's good All at right. talking people into CRM. I, I <laughs> talked to one of her new mentees on a, inadvertently earlier this week. They had joined another webinar and I followed up and she said, I was talking to this lady who uses exact, what was her name? And <laughs> she said, it's Mari T. I'm like, it's not Mari Takashita, is it? <laughs> and it was. The world is so small. No. <laughs> so we, we do appreciate that uh, that you're out there talking about exact contact and, and here with us of talking about exact contact today. Hey Todd. Hey, I am so yeah. sorry that I showed up late, but I love we you know it off without you. Uh, good. No, I'm glad you did. I'm so glad you did because you know this morning we were actually doing one of those online nationwide phone calls. We were on Clubhouse this morning and we were talking about lead gen. And, you know, the topic, you know, random, you know, went around a little bit by talking about, well, this lead source and this lead source. And, and I, I just chimed and I said, hey, I did a phone call the other day with Mary in Denver and you're, you guys have to listen to this webinar this afternoon. I said, because what Mary talked Mari. about is from Mari, sorry, that's right, um, Mari. Um, and, and it's, you talk about it from such experience. You talk about it from, from such um, you know, of, uh, of just value with what you're doing with your business, because now your business just runs and you do a little bit of work and a little bit of maintenance, but just what you said just a second ago about the number of phone calls you got just in the last two days. Well, Todd, let me kind of change what you said. You said that now I get all this. I don't actually started way back when. The very first client I ever had or the lead I had, those people were put into my CRM system at that point. I and I still have clients that I've never met because my team was so big, I never actually showed the properties. And when I, when I speak to these people, they still laugh. Do you, do you realize it's been 20 years and we've never met each other? And I, I'm still in touch with them. And so <laughs> Your name's it actually like somebody else's face is out there. <laughs> I think what's amazing about it is when you, you, when you first put your your first person in there, you know, person number one, all the things that you're gonna do as a new agent to try to, you know, create the right 
relationship with that person, it all starts as soon as you open up exact and you start putting people in because now you're going to call that person. You're going to get all kinds of information. And, you know, not only are you asking them when they're going to be buying or selling, it's by the way, when are, you know, when, who else do you know that is going to also be buying or selling? Who are those people? What are their names? Can we talk with them right now? You know, if they're on Zoom, Zoom them in. If you're on a phone call, conference, call them in. Do it all right there on the spot. Send out a greeting card to them with a bunch of your business cards and get the relationship going right at the very beginning. And if you learn how to do that when you first start in the business, oh my gosh, better than 10 years from now when you've got, well, I remember somebody, if I look on MLS, maybe I can find them and or on an Excel sheet where you just don't keep, you can't keep the kind of records and it won't do for you dynamically what exact can do. Mm -hmm. Now, if you started a spreadsheet, you're at least going in yes. the right direction. Yes, exactly. It's and not, you know, yes. I, I had a webinar this uh, last week, um, and funny enough, you say about the lead gen, Todd, the topic of our webinar, and we actually have an ebook coming yeah. out on the same topic, was less than 1% of online leads close. There right. is a better way. Right. That better way is exactly what Mari's talking about. It's about building relationships and maintaining those over time. There is work involved in that. But right. it pay like the, the actual payout at the end of that work is is much more worth it than buying you know sort of a data bank of, of online leads or having well, that exactly. continuous flow of, of cold leads. Exactly, and that's and actually I was um, flustered from being late, so I didn't say it very well. But what I was really saying was you know that um, it's not it's it's it's. Um, it's a reaping of this ongoing process that you have in your business where it's a consistent uh, daily, weekly, monthly, and then it turns into yearly um, uh, work that is put in that just gets results rather than just trying to go out and grab a shiny object and pay a little money and grab a shiny object and pay a little money. If you want really the long-term benefits and a very strong, robust business that builds over time, it's follow Mari's story, follow what she did and um, learn from her. And, you know, um, and, and then it reaps rewards down the road. So what did I, what part did I miss? Did you tell a little bit about your story from the beginning with Exact and how you started and how you-, you how I, Yeah, I made the, that transition from top producer. Um, right. You know, so that part, yes, we did discuss. But, um, you know, I started, well, actually, I think one of the biggest stories I can tell is um, when I was still using top producer, I had made a move from one office to another and doing so, my gal who did my mailers for me, said, you know what, let's go ahead. And I think at that point I had maybe 2,500 people. And she said, let's go ahead and make it so that not only do we bulk mail, but it's also gonna come back. And so what I did from that is realize I had about 75 cards come back from, from people that I had sold to. And so I hired someone and they actually went through uh, not only public records, but also MLS, we found out what they did was they sold with somebody else. And that's with me doing as much as I was doing. Dagger. Let me tell you, that year we changed everything up and we stepped it up even more so. Here's the advantage for the people who are doing this now. When I'm talking about that incident that happened to me, oh, by the way, you know those 75? That means I must have lost about 125 deals that year. That's a lot. But anyway, so from that, Everything is now technology based. So when I was doing that, that happened. The only thing I could do is either call them, go knock on their door or send them something in the mail. Now we've got text, we've got emails, we've got all these things that automatically go out for mm -hmm. you. And so because that, that takes care of a lot of it in itself. And I think one of the biggest things that um, you can do is do voice type communication, uh, whether it's in, you know personally you're doing it yourself or if you're dropping voicemails into people's phones. I get callbacks right away going, oh, Mari, you called me. And I'm going, oh, my assistant did that. I wonder which one he dropped. And I have to just kind of fake it. But oh, hi, how are you? And we continue a conversation. So I mean, it's great because now the work is being done for you because it's technology based. It all happens in the cost of what you pay per month. And it's not costing where I used to pay thousands of dollars every year for someone to sit there and make all these phone calls and do things for me. 
So it's a lot different. You're going to save a lot of money. And I think that's where you're going to really appreciate what exact or any CRM can do for you. But I'm impressed. If I wasn't, I'd tell you right now and I'd say, I'm getting off the phone. Bye. Because all I want to say is don't do it and leave. Yeah. And you I know? think I like what you say about like having the phone calls and that personal touch. Um, I think, you know, you don't have to, and for those of those of you joining us that are thinking like, I can't, I can't afford to hire three assistants to make phone calls for me. I don't think that's what Mari was getting at. Yes. It was that that was what she had to do at the time because we didn't have this other technology to keep us organized, to keep us in touch with people with, you know, automatic emails. Email didn't exist, right? We got to think about how long email has actually been in existence. Most of us think of it just like, oh, it's always been here. But, you know, if you think back in time, it really hasn't. Um, and the same thing with text messages. We're just so much more connected now than other now than now than ever. But at the same time, that also disconnects us. So yeah. it is about getting back to personalizing it. Yes. Yeah. Well, what I love about Exact is the fact that I can just you know if I get a listing or something, I can mass email it to everybody and say, "Here's a new listing. Who do you know that wants to buy a home?" Yeah. I love that. That's great. And the system then not only does it allow me to mass mail through the system, but then it keeps records of everyone. Or when I send out a yearly calendar or, you know, Valentine's or whatever it is, here's the list that I sent it out to. And then from that, I can just at least have it programmed in there. That way, when they call and say to me something, I go, hey, did you get my Valentine's card? And whatever I may want to say along with that. And of course, that starts a whole nother conversation. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. And that's, but I think that's what we're trying to do, right? Is just keep everything in one place so that you can systematize it so that you can follow up on it. Because if you just send a list to a mailing company and you never look at it again, chances are you're mailing people that don't live there anymore and it's not doing you any favors, but if you can keep it all in one place and sort of, it sounds like Mary, Mary, you've done a good job of keeping that little bit of control of it, right? Like even though you had a team managing things for you, keeping sort of those certain key pieces of organization kind of under your thumb. So you did know what was going on. You did know who had received what and when, and that's something that can just so easily set you apart, remembering those, those key things. Um, I wish Mary had been able to join us today. Um, it looks like she's gotten tied up, but what, what her sort of perspective on CRM was, was at the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Mari's had this business, her business running for so long and it's so successful. And Mary is someone who's just coming into the business. She's a fairly new agent. I think she said she was licensed in November, maybe even as recently. Um, and she's gone through the whole process of vetting CRMs and she's landed on exact contact. And I, I wish we had her input on exactly what it was. I know I had a conversation with her, but I can't recall exactly what sort of her criteria was that led her to exact contact. But having been from other businesses where she had used a CRM, right? Any kind of sales business, but no matter what you're selling, you should have your client list stored. And she knew that that's what she wanted. And there were certain criteria. So just find the one that works for you. I know I'm from exact contact. We are talking about exact contact, but ultimately find the CRM that does work for you. It may not be exact contact. If you're doing a ton of lead gen and that online lead gen works for you because you like making a hundred cold calls a day, then, then get the CRM that goes with that. Um, but you know, you've got to have the, the pieces that are going to work for how you want to run and, and build your business. And exact contact really is designed for agents that are, are marketers that want to nurture their database and, and build your business more so on referrals. Right. So I think one of the things too, um, since this is something that HomeSmart is now doing, and there's going to be, obviously this is going to generate more of that, that direction and knowing that this is really important. I'm hoping that Todd, that this is something that HomeSmart will do, especially for the new agents, is not only have the CRM system available, but also being able to really explore with the new agents how to use it so that they are going to be in a position. I mean, some of the things, like when I get a lead, it just pops into the CRM system. That's great. I don't have to retype it in unless I want to. And sometimes I'm goofy and I do that because I'm, I'm too old school. But most of the time they just pop in. Then all I've got to do is just clean it up or add in whatever information I want to. And so I think those are the things that are important for someone that's new to understand. This is more than just a calendar or a, a telephone book or something like that. This does a lot of things. And one of the things that I've noticed too is 
I've had things about this where I'm going, gosh, you know, I'll think out of the box and think, oh, I wanted to do this. And then I'll call in and ask them, will it do this? And they go, no, it doesn't do that. I go, well, can you put it on the list of those? Yes. And they are so pro that. And what's really great about it is I've seen those things that I've suggested. And of course, obviously other agents have too, or it wouldn't be happening. Uh, but what happens, it, it becomes part of the system. Like we we're just talking about bomb bomb. For those that you don't know, you'll figure out what that is later on. But we're talking about a system and it is a third party company and it's integrated also. So now even more. And boy, I'm telling you, that does really well. That's another topic, Todd, we should be yeah. going through. We, we love customer feedback. And if it's something like you've suggested, Mari, like, you know, like, hey, why don't you guys have, have a link with Bomb Up? Like, yeah, that's a great idea. Why don't we have a link with Bomb Up? <laughs> why don't we have this let agents put their video emails right in their exact contact mass emails and send them all from one place? Because that's really what we're trying to help you do is, is create this hub for your communication and marketing and management of your business. So you're not having to log in here and there in five different places to try to do one simple thing, like send an email with a video in it. Right. And there's all, the, I love all the different plans that you have. There's these plans that they have that go up to five years. So all you have to do is say, click this plan, the date you want it to start. And then it automatically just starts sending out to your client, whether it's a buyer or a seller, all these different emails. Then on top of that, it will remind you when to call that person too. And then if you want to add other things, like one of the things I have my assistant do is something that I've created. And then we actually did a contract management system actually within the exact, exact system. So it tells my assistant exactly everything you just got to do from the time we go into contract, whether it's an agency or a buy and sell contract all the way to close. And then after that. Well, yeah, when we were doing the prep call, it came up, you said, hey, I, I have some customers that they were on the five-year plan and the five-year plan, you know, now it's, it's kind of up. ended. I need a new plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At least five years then. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but you did, you put the request into Shannon and the team, and I'm sure they're working on something and we hear you loud and clear. Um, and we love uh, Exact and HomeSmart. And we are uh, talking about some of the requests and things that, that you want, Mari. And, um, you know, we're going to see if we can make those happen because, um, you know, integration is, is key. Um, I do have one question for you while you're here with everyone. And that's like, okay, so we just talked about how you have even had some customers um, who've been benefiting from the system for five years, right? Mm -hmm. So... Fast forward to today, though, what, what does your week look like with exact contact? Like, like your, your 15 or 20 hours that you're working a week, you know, a, a chunk of that is on real estate. But so then what are you doing on the actual marketing side? Like how much, what's your week look like? For that right part now. of it, more, well, okay. So right now. let me tell you, if I were doing it all myself, um, my assistant, who does this for me, he probably spends um, 15 to 20 hours a week. But he also, not only is he in the CRM system, but he's also helping you create the bomb bombs, the videos that I've got to do. Um, he puts together any other marketing things. So let's say we move that. He's probably spending 10 hours, um, yeah, let's say 10 hours a week in the CRM system. Not a lot, okay? Right. But it's because it, wasn't, it didn't used to be that way. The person I used to have hired before had to work the system 40 hours a week. That was before we had email and text and all these other things. So the system has made it so that now I can drop 30 hours a week. That's a lot. Okay. Right. Then what do I do? I used to, I used to make 50 phone calls a day and that used to take me five hours a day. Now I do about 10 only takes me about an hour a day. And that's it. Everything else from that is all computerized stuff that goes out the door, except for, you know, a few things, obviously. I'm still putting out things or my assistant is or, or something, but it's really not major like it used to be for it was, it took up a lot of time, effort and money. And today it does not. Right. That's yeah. great. I, I have a question for Murray. Um, and this sort of lends itself back to Agents that maybe aren't as seasoned in their in their real estate career, not necessarily brand new agents, but those that are still kind of sort of feeling out how to get these systems in place and, and how to have your business kind of drive itself 
right? So you do have that, that extra free time, quote unquote. Does anybody have free time really? Um, but what would you, like what are sort of the top three things that you would tell an agent that kind of feels like they're struggling in this business? What are the top three things that, that you would tell them to do, Murray, to help their business? Well, I think the biggest thing, um, because I've been in sales since I was 18 years old, um, is they don't understand whether they're selling real estate, cars, or anything else. They don't understand what sales is. Sales in our business is not about showing homes. It's about two things. Number one is prospecting. Number two is follow-up. That's all it is. Nothing else. Yes, you do have to put people in, well, when we used to put people on our cars, you, you still have to show homes. You still have to write a contract. You still have to go to the closing. You have to do those things. That's kind of like taking out the trash. That happens because you just have to do it, okay? Two things, prospect, follow-up. That's all this industry is, and that's what any sales industry is. And if they don't understand that, they have to have that mind shift to understand what this is all about. If you do those two things, when we didn't have all the digital things, I would send out my new, new agents that I was training. And you know what they'd have to do? Door knock. Oh my gosh teach them a really great script and they go door knocking and they go out for two hours. And by the time they will come back each day, they'd have about five leads. But if you don't take those leads and put them into a CRM system, then it's still just a piece of paper and a notebook. Right. Or you go mm -hmm. to a bar or somewhere and you get someone's name and phone number on the napkin. What happens to the napkin? It's lost yeah. in someone's purse and got thrown away or whatever it is. You had a great conversation, but now you have absolutely no information about those people. Mm -hmm. So go into exact immediately and put them in right there on the spot. Right. Yep. So prospect, so follow guess, up, yeah. keep in touch. Those yeah. three simple that's, things. That's all it is. Those yeah. things are the biggest thing. And then after that, I would say what you have to do is in a industry now that's become very impersonalized because it is so digitized. Um, then become very personal. Every time you talk to someone, make it a personal conversation. Then, by the way, talk about real estate. When you sound out bomb bombs or whatever, make it so it's coming from your heart and not from your business mind, not from your pocketbook, right. but from what you feel inside. So mm -hmm. does that answer the question you're asking me? Yeah, absolutely. That's great, that's great advice. That's great advice. And it's like, it's, like I said, I did a couple of webinars recently with that topic. You know, there is a better way than than trying to convert the one percent of online leads. And something that came up from the brokers and, and agents that we're talking to in those webinars was just that if you dare to be just that little bit different, dare to stand up just that little wee bit, then people remember you. Um, you know, it's just small things like following up, small things like when you stop by and they've got a box on their porch from Amazon, you don't just walk by it or kick it out of the way. You say, oh, yeah, you had an Amazon delivery, right? Just those simple things, sort of the kindness in just being people, right? And being kind to other people. Right, that's great. Um, so one thing, how many, I'd like to ask a question to the, the, the agents that are on the webinar. How many of you are in real estate one year or less? And uh, so just if you can type it in the chat, just curious there. Um, okay, so I see two people raising their hand. Um, so I'd like Shannon and Mari to both address this real quick. Um, Mari, from your standpoint, just back at the very beginning, um, you know, how important it is for that new agent, just like you said, instead of just having a piece of paper and pieces of paper all over your office, you know, just to work it into, to, to their daily processes and then it becomes habit too right, right. and just talk about how important that is but then also shannon just talk about how there's the six month or there's the is it the six month onboarding program for new yeah. agents so for um for rookie agents if you've been in real estate less than a year um you get your first six months free and and at that point then I, I remember talking to Rich, uh, one of the co-founders of Exact, and, and he said to me, he said, it's because we know how crucial it is mm -hmm. for an agent in the early stages of their business. But we also know that when you're getting your business off the ground, you have a lot of expenses. 
And so yeah. in a sense, it's you're wanting to share that lifting with them and just help them get off on the right foot. And I just think that's commendable and I think it deserves being talked about. So I didn't mean to take, I just wanted you to mention it and let everyone Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I, I was probably gonna get there eventually, I've, <laughs> but there's so much to talk about. Um, yeah, so you know, if, if you're just starting out in, in real estate, um, then, then don't leave it, right? We talk to so many agents and they say like, well, yeah, you know, I've been in, I've been in real estate a couple years and, and now things are just so all over the place that I'm trying to pull them back together. Um, one of those brokers that I talked to last week on a webinar said, I actually had an agent join our office. And when I said like, where, where's your contact list? Right? Like we use exact contact here. Where, where's your contact list? And we'll help you get it into the system. That contact will upload it for you. And you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll put all the pieces together. And she kind of pulled out her phone and said, well, there's some in here. And then she dug through her purse and literally pulled out like a stack of sticky notes. <laughs> and he was just like, oh God, <laughs> what have we done? How do we help this person? You know what? Data entry, like Mari said, do 10 a day, get them in there, make it an excuse to phone them, make sure that you've got their right email address, get their birthday while you're at it, start updating that information and building that relationship before you get to the point where you've got a stack of sticky notes that you're trying to then, what was my note the last time I talked to Barbara? Um, you, need, you need to keep it organized so you can just click on Barbara and go, oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Her dog was sick. I hope the dog's better, <laughs> right? So just keeping those little conversation starters. Yeah. I think that's really important to do. And in fact, one of the gals that just signed up with HomeSmart, she was someone that was talking to me saying, what do I do? She was at Keller Williams for a year she wasn't getting the assistance that she needed. She was using a CRM system that they had. So of course, when she left, the CRM system doesn't move with her. It's Keller Williams system. So anyway, so she just made the move to HomeSmart and also on the exact. And when I talked to her, she came off with this, oh my God, I don't know what to do. She was panicking. She was almost hyperventilating. And so that's when I said, just do 10 a day. Yeah. And after five days, if you've got those done, you're gonna be amazed at what's happened. I spoke to her on the second day and she has had phenomenal conversations. Here's why she left Keller Williams. Last year, when we had the busy year that we had, she closed zero deals. And in just a couple of days and now, so today would be, is this Thursday? So she's now been making them for four days now. So tomorrow will be her fifth day of making her 50 phone calls. And she's got about 400 people to put in the system. What's gonna end up happening is I told her by the time she finishes 100, she should have at least three deals. And so she called me and said, yeah, um, we'll see what happens, but I'm thinking she's going to. She's already had really positive conversations. And so because of that, I'm hoping that was the case. So um, I'm not sure if she's on this call or not right now, but is Brittany Riddle, Riddle on this conversation? Don't see anybody in the Q and A, but it, Brittany, if you are, give Murray a little shout out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess not. I was yeah. gonna try to see if she would let us know how many leads she's picked up yet, but things sound a little bit different. If nothing else, her excitement level, she says, just getting started on this has kind of regenerated her and has made her enthusiastic about this, especially for the people that are new. You know, what are the statistics? Yeah. Like 97% fail in the first year. Yeah. And then another, what is it, another 30% fail, another three years, another 30% uh, fail in seven years. Oh my gosh, you don't want to be that stat. And, and that enthusiasm people, is contagious. Yes. Right? Like yes. if you're that sort of positive, happy person that you, you put that out there, then it comes back. And the thing but, is this, if you don't know where you're going with your business, then it takes you absolutely nowhere. But the CRM system actually gives you a guide and tells you what to do once you've set up the system. So I know who I'm supposed to be calling. And there'll be sometimes a name will come up and go, oh my gosh, when's the last time I talked to her? And so even, even with that, well, with 3,000, it's a little you know, hard to get kind of spaced out on who it is. But with 400, it's easy to remember who they are. Right. And so because of that, you're going to find. And if you go with the stat, you know, if you have 400 for, or every 100 people, you're probably going to close 10 deals just off of those 100 people. Those 100 people are valuable. 
Right. And I know people that have 300 people in their database and they're closing 500 transactions because it's all investors. It's amazing what people can do. Well, I, I love that what you just said about just do 10 a day. That is such great advice. And it's also such great voice of uh, such a great voice of experience because you know, I'll, uh, often with newer agents or agents that are at a point in their business and they want to be farther along, they look at it as this overwhelming task. And I, I'll often say, you know, you don't build a home in one day. You do it step by step by step by step. You don't eat a steak all in one bite. You know, you, you take it one bite at a time. So 10 a day, that's 50 in a week. 60 if you work on Saturday, you know, and, and 50 a week is, um, what is that? That's four, 200 in a month, you know, and then 400 in two months, you know, and you've had 400 engagements and then you have the drip marketing and the campaigns kick off and then the videos and then the texting and then it all just starts to really. It's going to start work. to grow back too, yeah. right? So you might be entering 10 a day. Yeah. But yeah. at some point, those 10 a day are going to start sending people back to you. So yep. it, be, it becomes more than 10 a day. So it's and a great way to again, just look at it piece by piece, as you said. Yep. I think the main thing is when you're on that one, there's not that attitude of, I got to get these 10 in. That is not the point. The <laughs> point is to put one in, contact them, and get all the information and set them up on everything right there on the spot. Right. I think that's real. And then here's another thing, too. We screwed up on something where we first put people in, didn't do something right. We called into exact and they said, don't worry, we'll move them all over to that one plan. I go, oh, fantastic. We don't have to sit there and go through 3000 people and do it ourselves. And they literally did it. And like, while we're on the conversation or something, you know, 10 minutes or something, they had it all done. I'm going, oh yeah. my gosh, thank you. So I'm going to pop my, I'm going to pop my screen back up here for a second. Because <laughs> our support is fantastic. They really are. Yeah. Um, very helpful. And yeah, and I see, I see in the Q and A. What's that, Murray? What time are you? What are your hours? Because I know we called in strange hours, and you guys pick up the phone. There it is. Nine a.m. to eight p.m. Eastern. Yeah, nine a.m. to eight p.m. Eastern. Um, so you know, there's always somebody live on the phone. Uh, there's not, you know, some big long queue that you're waiting in. Um, we try to get to people as quickly as possible. That doesn't mean, however, that they're going to try to get off the phone as quickly as possible. Every support member will work with you until your, your um, item that you called about is completely resolved. Um, and that goes right from day one. So right from when you sign up for your free trial, someone actually reaches out to you from my sales team, welcomes you, and offers their assistance in getting you started, answering any questions as you get started, and they'll schedule a call for you with the support team, if you'd like that one-on-one -on -one assistance, they can schedule a call in advance or you can just call in sort of as needed. But our support team is awesome. They upload your data for you. They'll make sure your monthly e-newsletter and your email header, the branding, everything is all set up and the whole system's working for you really quickly. Um, I saw somebody ask earlier in the Q&A um, about porting contacts over from another system. I think it was specifically top producer, but really any CRM system any sort of back end of your website that has sort of a quasi CRM in it, you can export your list into a CSV or Excel spreadsheet and simply email that to our support team and they'll upload it for you. And that's what we did too. We had so many people we had to put in that we put them on Excel, push them over. But then what we wanted to do is because Exact had things that the top producer of software did not have, we went into each one. So I will tell you that was a little devastating. It probably took us many days and two of us doing it on two different computers with a bottle of booze in between us. <laughs> you brought over <laughs> such a large list yeah, at that it time was, too. It was, it was bad. I and mean, we started off with glasses and I was like, oh, forget that. We put the bottle right in the middle of us and just kept swigging it, but we got it done. <laughs> and so I would say if you've got a large, uh, large database, then you may want to have someone with you doing it. I would have thrown myself off my balcony. Uh, so I'd say do it with someone else so that at least you can sit there and, and um, commiserate. Yep. But then you had everyone in. And then oh, yeah. So now it works well. Yay. And, and then, now it works. then you needed yeah. to change. But then, <laughs> also, but then also, you know, you needed to change something and get them connected to a different campaign. And you just put a phone call. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Very easy. And Very they, easy. Just switch them all out, switch they, them all back in. Uh, 
update that. everything and it only gets better and better. Right. The one thing I love that's up on the screen right here, one of the biggest things that I think a lot of agents have trouble with is syncing and making sure that when they put a new contact in, you know, that all of a sudden everything kicks off the right way. So there's, you know, all of a sudden they are put on the right plan and the right drip. And that it also, it syncs between their phone, between their computer into exact. And I just love the fact that you help synchronize everything so that they're set up correctly. And then from then on, everything that they put in, it just works. Yeah, like you can enter a phone into your Google contacts or your mobile, like your iPhone contacts. If the sync is set up, it'll automatically create that contact in exact and they're gonna automatically get your next monthly e-newsletter. So it can right. be that simple. But as Murray said, spend the time, get to know more information and build out those contact profiles because it just helps you build stronger conversations and stronger relationships over time. All right, so real quick, um, if you could, I don't know if you have a PowerPoint slide or if you can go live drive real quick, but if you could just touch base on two things, mm -hmm. the automated lead capture, actually three things, the automated lead capture, maybe a screenshot of the campaigns and also then all the integrations. And then maybe Mari, you could talk a little bit about those, um, you know, what those mean to you, you know, as, as she's doing them too, because I know, for, for example, like you do, you use BombBomb Bomb and now they, there's integration with BombBomb. Bomb, so you're not doing things separately in the two systems, right? Um, mm -hmm. And the campaigns that you talk about, there's just so many to choose from. Uh, which ones are your favorites, you know, Mari? And, and what, what? Yeah, let me um, pop my screen up here and then even Mari can talk to them. So there's the, here's the activity plans. These are the campaigns that Mari mentioned earlier. And the one she specifically mentioned was this five year long campaign for your sphere of influence. This is like 700 days worth of email, more than so that. The, yeah, so the five year I'll use when, once I've closed on somebody, I put them on the five year plan, the email plan, not the letter plan. Mm -hmm. And then I also, um, then my assistant is calling and, and sending out a greeting card with three business cards in each greeting card every other month. And then I create a new bomb bomb um, every every other month. We create new voicemails. So instead of me sending out the voicemail, he sends it out. We can have this, we can do this with the system, and it automatically just sends out. And so um, one of the things that I love about that is someone will pick up the phone and call me back and say, "Oh, you just called me." And I'm going, I'm thinking, oh, I didn't call this person. But I, then yeah. I go, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Ernest is working right now. He's throwing out all these voicemails. And so I end up having- And what system are you using to do that, Mari? Sorry to interrupt. I have no clue. Okay. <laughs> we need to ask Ernest. Ernest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we also send out text via email instead of text. So he doesn't have to have my phone to do that. And so- um, that's something that maybe would be great uh, as the next exact thing. I don't know what it is, but we look up uh, the carrier that the person has. So Chen, if you're with Sprint, then we're able to determine that, then we can send you a text, but he originates it from the email. So that means that you could originate it from exact, send it out the door, and everyone thinks that I sent out a text to them. Yeah, there, there actually is a mass texting platform built into exact contact. It's fairly recent addition. Um, so Ernest may not have gotten to it yet, but essentially what you do is you, you can send out mass text messages right from your exact contact list. So just like you could send a mass email, you could choose you know, a subset of your list or the entire list and say, you know, text message these people, type out your message and hit send and it's gonna send that out into uh, all great. of their phones. Yeah. That would make his job even faster. Yeah, so, yeah, so you should look into it. It's in our, it's in the user profile um, under the, uh, the texting feature here. All right, I'll have him do that. Yeah, and that makes it super simple. And um, then what I really like is I've made my own plans. So I have a plan called seller that sold but didn't buy with me. That's a plan. And so I think that's about a two or three month plan of me keeping in touch because you know how it is as soon as you sell a home or buy a home you're talking to everybody in the world and telling them that you bought or sold mm -hmm. during that time I'm in touch with them so that I can make sure they don't have someone else who's thinking about buying or selling yeah and agents that that don't have those those campaigns built or sort of haven't thought 
sort of that far ahead of it, what they're about their business. That's a that's great advice to come up with those sort of really niche custom campaigns. Um, and you could, you know, really customize probably a lot of the content that exact contact includes to, you know, to sort of start those, at least start those campaigns. There's nine fully written drip email campaigns in the system right from, from the get-go. And I love the four, the four month one and the two year one, you know, for buyers and sellers. I think mm -hmm. that's great. I love that. Let me yeah. ask you a question. I know I've asked this before and I just don't think we, um, the answer, I don't think the answer was yes, but you're going to try to see what you could do. So I have a plan and I want to share it with another home smart agent. I know that the five year plan actually came from a different agent. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you incorporated her, her, um, action plan into your systems. Mm -hmm. Is there any way that I can then share my action plans with other home smart agents? Um, technically, yes. Um, not directly from your account. It would be something that we would copy into a holding account and then could publish to all home smart agents if you'd like to share those. Okay. Yeah. That would yeah, be we should have a, that would be a great, you know, sort of gift with purchase if you wanted that to share some of, of that content, Mari. Really would be. That would yeah. be great. So let's let's take that offline because that's something that you know I can get involved in and it's pretty easy to do. Um, but it'd be something where I'm literally gonna copy it into another account so that I can push it out to, uh, to everybody else's accounts. That's great. Yeah. Um, Todd, you had mentioned I think it was lead capture. Yeah, the automatic lead capture. Yeah, so lead capture um, in exact contact, we can capture leads from virtually any online source. I'm not gonna try to demo it because it's not just a screen with a with a lot of the box on it. Yep. Um, but essentially, you know, if you have a great website that you like already, you can set it up so that your leads from any lead capture form on that website, on like a single property website, you know, whatever kind of online advertising you're doing, you can have those leads automatically sent to the CRM. They can be automatically assigned to an appropriate contact group status um, and even automatically assigned to your newsletter and one of these campaigns. All, all at once. All at once, like all the all you have to do is set up the lead capture, and all right. the other pieces happen automatically in the background. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So while those while those automations are being set up, you're getting a notification, either in a text message or in your email, that says, "Hey, you have a new lead." So you can be phoning that person and following up, and you know that on whatever day you've set up your e newsletter for, they're going to automatically receive it. And again, your onboarding concierge team will actually help agents set this up so they Absolutely. set it up the right way. Yep. So you're not wasting hours of time trying to figure it out, right? Absolutely. Yep. Yep. And I think that's really important too, because going from top producer for what over two decades or so, and then moving over to something else, um, and then of course it wasn't antiquated. This is brand new and shiny and does all this stuff we were lost we had no idea the things it did and so um, my assistant and i we spent time looking at it playing around with it and then calling and and again your people are always helpful and they really kind of walked us through the things that were here that we didn't understand so that we knew how it worked and what it did dynamically and how we could use it so it wasn't just that it does something but it's also why it will do that and how you would use it. And I think that's the critical part for an agent that's new because they don't know, yeah, they say, okay, well, we'll do this, but then what's that gonna do for me? And what kind of results should I get from that? And I think those are the things that are really important. Right. Yeah, and our support team's equipped to, to answer some of those questions, not just give you the step-by-step -step sort of tech right. help. Yeah. Right. Okay, so uh, you know we're kind of coming up on our on our hour, and I yeah. know I showed up late. I'm sorry. Let's um let's talk ROI and return on investment real quick, both from a time and from a dollar standpoint. So I know you had a slide, Shannon. Um, just wanted to maybe if you could pull that back up. Yeah, let me find number that one, for you. Number one for all the new agents. Again, the first if you literally on your 364th day or less in real estate. Um, one year or less, you're still eligible for the six months free that happens with, with exact. Mm -hmm. um, and then after that, you know, um, there's a monthly fee, but you take that monthly fee and you times it by 12 and almost in any market that I know of right now, one transaction 
more than gives you a return on your investment. And, you know, for me, I don't look at it as an expense. I look at it as a business person building a business budget. You have a budget for your cell phone. You have a budget for your realtor dues, you know, and a CRM is just one of those foundational, you know, elements, you know, with uh, this automated marketing, um, you know, and it just um, makes sense. But I just, Shannon, if you could just talk about, you know, what you have up on the screen right there a little bit. Yeah. So my slide here is just sort of outlining all of the key pieces that are wrapped into exact context core system. So CRM with a monthly e-newsletter and the cost of, of, if you were to go and sort of piecemeal this together, find all these different services and, and kind of piece them together, what you might pay for each individual piece. And exact contact wraps it all into one package for normally 39, but for HomeSmart, $29 a month. How many lattes is that? Not very many. No. Yeah, it's like, it's like one less trip through the Starbucks drive-thru. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 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 And so, uh, and like I said, yeah, for the first year in real estate, six months free. So that's only six times, you Can't know, make it bigger, that's yeah. <laughs> you know, right. Yeah. So, you know, um, so, so Mari, you know, when you think of ROI, you know, it's not only, okay, yeah, there's that monthly fee, but there's ROI on your time. Right. But do you, do you get a return on your investment with what you invest? Well, let me put it this way. Last year, I was semi-retiring and I quit doing Zillow and Hubsu and all these different things. I was spending probably about $3,500 a month and I quit all that. And then COVID happened. Um, and so, of course, that kind of put a little twist on things. And uh, I closed 41 last year with a commission of about 400, I think it was 470 or some 480,000. And I was supposed to be semi-retiring. And, um, and this year is even crazier than it was the beginning of last year. So I will tell you that, and I'll tell you something, if it wasn't for a CRM system, there's no way I could do this. And don't use a shoebox or Excel. That no Rolodex. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, you know, when I was in the car business way back in the day, we had a shoebox, right? And it had a calendar set up and you put, you'd look at that one index card then you put into the next month that you're going to call and that's what you had that was a, the crm system that's all we have this does so much more and it's so inexpensive and if you think that this is expensive because i know when you're first starting off you just took your test or whatever it is you've done and you're going oh my gosh it's one more thing because we get you know we have to pay for this we have to pay for that by the time you have to now pay for the crm system then i'd say I don't care if you have to handwrite your contracts and get rid of CTME. This is much better than that because this will keep your business running. Right now, if I decided I want to sell my business or to give it away, it's everything that's in exact. That's what I'm selling because someone else who takes it over is going to be closing 40 or 50 transactions the next year. And that's what mm -hmm. it's all about because you don't want to think about this short term. You want to think about this for the rest of your life because hopefully you're going to stay in this industry for the rest of your life. And I could be 82 years old and can't even hear anything, but I'm still going to get deals going because I'll have enough assistance to take care of everything, right? And that's what you can do with this industry or you really can sell it. And maybe yeah. Todd, you can say, I mean, if you're, if you're making that many transactions, I don't know what my business is worth, but if I were to sell it, what is it worth two years worth of, 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 the price is that what it kind of when you sell a business i don't know uh, you know you know it varies but um they call it a multiple you know the mul you know how many times so it's i don't know two three four times you know so that, i know that, you're just starting that. off people but you yeah. know what don't think small think big in everything that you do in real estate and part of it is a crm system that's going to take you there for the rest of your life or if you have children even if they're five years old today, don't worry. They are a realtor's child. They're going to like what you're doing and yes. they're going to take over your business for you and keep going. So it's not just for you. It's for generations to come because I'm in three generations of people and your child that's only five now, they're going to be in that position too, where they'll take over your, your database and keep going. Right. Great advice. Great advice. 
Well, Shannon, uh, Mari, anything else to add here real quick? Nothing else other than if, if you've got questions or you're still sort of hesitating or you want to ask me anything before you sign up um, and you're shy and you don't want to do it on the webinar, my phone number and email address are here on the bottom of the screen. If you don't get me, you'll get another one of our, our amazing uh, sales representatives that can walk you through it. And I don't know if I'm going to shoot myself after I say this, but if you have any doubts whether or not you should be using a CRM system, and it's like Shannon said, at least use something, even if it's not exact. But if you want ideas of how I started with this and what I did and on and on and on, then text me. I'm about to give you my phone number. Okay, my cell phone number is 303-941-6242. Seven four. Text me, tell me you're with HomeSmart, tell me your name, ask me a question, and I'll call you when I have a moment to be able to talk with you. And anytime I have open, I'm here to help you guys. I love that. That's and awesome. I love That's your super generous, Mark. That. that is very generous. And I just love also all the, the personal experience that you've shared today. That's wonderful. Thank I you. really appreciate you taking the time, you know, to do this. So um, thank you all for joining us today on, you know, this business builder webinar, webinar real agents, real stories. Uh, just love all the insight that you've shared today with us, Mari. Really appreciate it. And Shannon, we love the support that you're giving all of the Home Smart agents and your team and exact contact. Please tell Rich and the rest of the team that we appreciate you and appreciate all you're doing. If you would like some easy connection, like they said, the phone numbers are right there in the um, in the chat. And um, you know, feel free to reach out to Exact Contact. You can also reach them through the Home Smart Marketplace. Click into Real Smart Agent on the left hand column. We have our navigation bar. It says Marketplace. Click into the Marketplace, and you'll find Exact Contact right there as well. So, um, Mari, thank you. What Thank a you. wonderful, and I hope your 2021 just keeps uh, moving on with a bang, you know, Thank and you. Uh, how's the inventory status up there in Colorado? Oh, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even want to discuss it in this conversation. <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> like just staying out of that. That's a whole I'm different staying conversation. Staying out of that. Well, thank, well, anyway. thanks again, Todd, and everybody at HostMart for hosting us and, and for making us uh, one of your preferred partners. You know, we're, we're here to help agents, and, and that's really what uh, what this is all set up for. I love it. Thank you. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. everyone on the call. Thank one. you. And we hope you have a wonderful 2021 as well. And uh, put the tactics we talked about today to work for you. All right. We'll see you next time around. Like what you're hearing on The Real Estate? Tell your friends about us. Tell them to check out all of our episodes on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, and Spotify. And don't forget to send any topics you want us to tackle to the real estate at homesmart.com.